Opie, do you have a friend outside the window? Who's your friend there? Mr. Birdie Birdie, it looks like he wants to play. Yeah, you wanna go get him? You wanna go get him, Opie? You can get that birdie? Go get that birdie. That one. Oh my gosh, he's brave. He really wants to play. You wanna eat that chicken nugget, Opie? Go get him. Go get him. Go get, go get him, Opie. Get that, oh, we scared him. No, oh, sorry, Opie. Man, you chased my bird away, Dad. It's that time of year, Tara's favorite holiday movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. She is just infatuated by this animated movie. She sits right here in my lap and just, <laughs> she loves it as much as I do. Santa Claus! What do you think, Tara? Yeah, well, today's the big day, guys. Today is the day that we roll out and leave Vegabond Base Camp here in Arizona. Hopefully by the end of this video, we'll be in another state. That's crazy, here we go. Uh, I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, link below in the video description. The trailer and the motorcycles are all secured. Babe the Blue Box is all secure. Just got a hook up tater tot and uh, we're gonna go on a little adventure this winter. So thanks for joining me. Let's go peek inside. I wanna show you one change I made in the RV real quick before we hook up. Uh, the white fake flocked Christmas tree is gone. I read some stuff online that uh, the actual fake artificial snow may be harmful to cats and I'm just not going to take any risk at all. So I put the frosted Christmas tree in Babe the Blue Box and uh, I've went back to my uh, four foot little mini RV Christmas tree here, which I've had in all my other RVs. It is really just the perfect size little $20 Walmart tree. I put my twinkly lights on it so I can set it for any holiday. So I've got my orange lights on and we've got our kind of fall, autumn, uh, you know, post-Halloween picturesque feel there, but I've got all my Christmas ornaments back on it and uh, I can change it to any mood I want. Watch. Ba-boom, right to Christmas theme. I love it, right? <laughs> it works. And I also in installed the uh, security camera up there so that I can see all the angles outside from my chair here. Uh, so yeah, all right, well, I guess, let's go outside. Hi, Opie, where's Tara? Oh, Tara's ready to go. You ready for an adventure, Tara? It's been a while. Let's get on the roads, go to New Mexico. All right, girl, all right, guys. Said all my goodbyes to, well, it's just, just Kevin here, just Kevin here in the Wolf Pack. Uh, Kevin just left to go to town to work on his video, so uh, I already said goodbye. I just need to hook up all my stuff and yow here. I really, really, really appreciate what Camperman Kevin has done for me, allowing me to, put everything in here and prepare for my future. Uh, it's, it's a really good feeling having everything that I own here, <laughs> you know, so. Okay, you guys ready? Well, let's go.
right, just uh, watching Tater Tot on the camera and everything seems to be towing well back there. The lights are working and everything is good. All right, back to uh, pavement here for a little bit. All right, let's do winter, let's do winter. We are going straight south right now and I cannot tell you how, how good that feels. We're also going down the mountain from 7,000 feet down to hopefully closer to four or 5,000 feet. This road's a little bumpy here, but um, checking on my tire link because I got the receiver here in the back window for the Bluetooth pressure sensors on Tater Tot and the app is working good. It shows me all four tires on there. Don't know if you can see that, but uh, if anything happens, I've set them all to 29 PSI to go off with an alarm. If it goes below that, I will get a push notification on my phone as well as that thing back there will start screaming at me. So, hey, and I'll just remind you, we're in Arizona, guys. Look at this water off to our right. This reservoir, I don't know what it's called. I don't have service right now. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But this is a really, really pretty drive through the mountains. Arizona, who'd, who'd have thunk it? Really, really pretty. Boy, this sure beats an interstate, huh? <laughs> uh, looks like that's the end of the water up there. I was hoping there might be like a little turn off, little pull off. You know what? I think there is one. There is a car behind me, but I got my blinker on. I'm gonna pull in here. Maybe, maybe have a little sandwich with a view. Yeah, this looks nice. What does this sign in front of us say? It says, no overnight camps or parking. Okay. All right, if you say so. Still don't know what the name of the reservoir is called because for whatever reason, I can't uh, can't get any service right now. How do you get to this area? There's like a bench picnic table area, but no walkway, just rocks. I mean, there's this, but this is for water, right? Isn't that weird? I don't know how you get to that. I tell you though, I am feeling good, guys. This is what uh, really drives me to be on the road. I don't necessarily like being behind the wheel all the time, but being able to stop at beautiful places like these, especially this little treat of finding a big reservoir body of water in Arizona, I am loving that. And probably there's some nature and wildlife out here, but even the trees changed. I mean, like compared to where my camp is, where my tiny house is, uh, these trees look completely different in this particular area of Arizona. And it's really pretty because, you know, you're driving down the road or looking up the hill, you just don't know what you're going to expect, don't know what's going to be on the other side sometimes. And that's, that's one of the things I love about the open road and not really having a plan. We are going to have to find another place where we're going to be able to camp. I don't have any plans for where that will be, but it's going to have to be in a place that doesn't have a sign right next to where I'm parked that says no overnight parking. But there's the group, Frida and Tater Tot. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I did add my uh, Christmas wreath on the front of Frida here. <laughs> I got my little battery pack LED Christmas lights on with a little timer up there so they will automatically turn on, run for eight hours and then turn off for 16 until the batteries. Now you gotta change them out like once a week or so, but yep. All right, well, I'm gonna get back on the road. Go try to find a place to camp. Wait a minute. Even though I've never been here before, I recognize this bright orange sign in front of us. Yeah, that's what it is. Because I've seen it on other parts of the, oh, this is a really, thank you. See, Google Maps just welcomed me to New Mexico. Let's get out and stretch our legs. Except for all the little noises Frida's making. <laughs> so quiet. Peaceful. Look at the size of these pine trees behind me. Yeah. All right, we got fire danger today is low. And there we go. Welcome to New Mexico land of enchantment and watch for snow plows. Uh, I'm curious about what's going on over here though. There's nothing on Google Maps that says anything about camping through here, but it sure looks like, geez, those grates. I mean, I could literally fall into. Um, yeah, yikes. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. I don't have any service here. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep driving. Yeah, because I, I looked at the Google Maps that goes through there, and not only can I not see any campsites, but with the one-way road, it's really gonna be a pain if I have to unhook tater tot. Go, you know, it, it, would, it would not be pleasant. So uh, let's see if we can find a Maybe a national campground, like a U.S. Forest Services campground or something like that. I don't know. We'll see.
we are definitely going downhill guys see this blue sign right here it told us a half mile ago that there's a campground but before I turn I gotta make sure there's not a gate closed I don't see any gates closed so I am gonna try this one man the trees are gorgeous in this area of New Mexico wouldn't it be neat if I could camp under some oh I'm not doing that anymore this is very promising, guys. I still don't see any signs if I need to pay or if there's a special pass that you have to get ahead of time. Okay, wait a minute. Now we're seeing some benches. Whoa. There's one Jeep over there. This is really pretty, guys. Whoa. It's a monster campsite. Let me let me go step outside. This is a pretty cool campsite, right? Huge tables. Let me go read the sign over here and see what's going on. Oh, okay. So there is another little smaller site right there. And that blue Jeep is over there. Let's see here. No fireworks, no shooting. The stay limit here is 14 days. Uh... Guys, I'm thinking this is probably free. I think this is free. I did check before I got out of free that no cell service here, no cell towers anywhere near me, but I have an idea. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll Frida and Tater Tot out of here, go back around the loop, and then come in this way instead so that my passenger side door is facing this way. So yeah, let me do that and then we'll get settled. I can dig it, guys. Nice. Nice little score here. Uh, I'm not going to be burning any firewood tonight, but I may pull out my propane canister, my propane fire pit there, and uh, stay warm. I don't know how cold it's going to get here, and I don't even know what elevation we are yet. I'm going to try to set up Starlink, actually. Got a 175 feet of wire, I think, so I might be able to put it like out in the field kind of aim towards north over there and, and get some service. But either way, it's just a, a really nice place in the forest to camp here in New Mexico. And uh, I think I hit the jackpot on day one. <laughs> oh, that blue Jeep over there is leaving now. Hmm. They're not even camping. They were just checking it out too. So we're going to be the only ones here. Okay. Well, let's go for a walk. Let's go check it out. I don't know about it being the only camper here it's definitely open but it's remote <sighs> yeah all right wait a minute i think i hear water you gotta be kidding me there's something here oh it's a oh weird what is that a dam i'm not sure what it's for not much of water but there's water Oh wait, there's another stream over here. That is some really clear water. You could probably drink that water actually. Actually, never mind. I just pulled out my compass and north is that way. We're not gonna be able to connect any satellites. So I'm not gonna mess with Starlink. I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is. It's a nature stop. Wow. Wow. Gosh, I'm so happy I needed this. What a crazy, crazy couple months it's been. <laughs> Man.
Oh, there you go, Tara. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> She's still not digging it, Opie. No, you're ready for seconds, aren't you? Oh my goodness, crazy, crazy boy. Oh my. Tara and I have been working on the whole leash and harness thing for a couple, couple years now. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that's just not working well for her. Anytime she's outside, she's incredibly stressed. She doesn't really enjoy it. So, you know, I think moving forward, even though people say you got to give both cats a fair chance, they're both going to get a fair chance of my love. But Tara just doesn't seem to really enjoy being outside. And I really don't want to stress her out anymore. So moving forward, uh, Opie will be my, my leash kitty outside. I like this campground though. I like this campground a lot, guys. We are in the Gila National Forest. I know that because it said so on a piece of paper over there. Other than that, I don't know if this place has an actual name for the campground, but I'm gonna get a bite to eat here and then uh, I'll bring out my little propane fire and try to stay warm tonight. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know, I've been eating a lot of breakfast at strange hours. Eggs for lunch, eggs for dinner. Been eating a lot of eggs lately. Good stuff. Can't go wrong with some good old bacon. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't attract any wildlife. Oh, I got both my babies with me. Best night ever. Yeah, I didn't want to stay out there all night, Tara, because I missed you. I didn't want to be without you guys. Yeah. You guys hungry? Let's get you guys some num nums. Come on. Yeah, let's get you guys some num nums. Well, it's dark outside, guys. I'm going to hang out with the kitties and get some shut-eye and get an early start. Try to get into a new state here in a couple days. So uh, thanks for joining Terranopia. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Whoop.